Hi, cool that you clicked. In this video, we're gonna talk about some changes I made in the game and things I added into the game. So let's get right into it. As you can see here, I have now a main menu where you have some options. Right now, the only options are how many enemies you want to be spawned in the demo level. The options are gonna be improved over time, like graphics, controls, FUV, you name it. I'm trying to do it as detailed as possible. So I'm actually also starting writing my own shaders again, my own post-processing effects. So that will need some time because I have to learn that shit first. The next big thing I was working on was an inventory system. So now you have usable items that you can pick up and by scrolling the mouse wheel, you can see your inventory and choose the weapon of your liking, just like weapons. And in future, there are gonna be like health packs or other items, maybe puzzle pieces. Another big feature I was working on is melee. It is still far from finished, but at least I have some sort of fun with it. It works better than expected, but I still have to flesh it out some more because it's still way too buggy. Sometimes hits are not being recognized or the force goes into the opposite direction where it actually hit. So it leads to really weird results, but sometimes it works just fine and then it's super satisfying. This is the knockout state, where the enemy tries to balance itself and is defenseless. If the damage has been too high or the blow to the head too strong, the enemy will be knocked out, which can result in a non-lethal takeout. Or not. And I can't help myself, I added two more weapons. They are supposed to be an M4 carabine, they're supposed to be an Uzi. But I'm not going for realism here, I'm really just going for feeling and fun. But I gotta say, the Uzi result is actually quite satisfying. And of course, disclaimer, all weapons are not final. There will be definitely an animation overhaul, but I'm just doing it step by step. Another thing I have been working on is making enemies who fell to the ground get up again. And oh boy, I hate that procedure. I kinda got the juice of it how it's gonna work, but there's so much fine detail that I have to take care of. This is just a minor detail, but maybe you have seen in the previous videos that whenever I was using a revolver or the son of shotgun, if the lever has been pulled back, it returns right to its original state again. So I added more animations for each state. I wanted to achieve that effect via code, but I had so much other stuff to take care of. So I just chose the easy way out. This here is just as hard as getting the getup animations right. This is the blend between ragdoll physics and animation again. The perfect blend I will probably not be able to pull off with my knowledge, but at least I can try as best as possible. So I actually coded many different ways how the enemies will react if it's the first hit they received, or if it's already the second hit they received, how different will they react on different weapons, and so on. 
As you can see here, this is just for cinematic purposes. Though they have been shot to the hand, the enemy is stumbling around, sometimes even falling on its knees before falling down completely. So yeah, that's what I got for now. See ya!